Hi guys, Coach Valerie here with the next 50 level one workout. It's gonna be a cardio set, so make sure that you have something to hydrate with, preferably an electrolyte drink. Hashtag, as always, pajama gym. Yay, nice and comfy, of course, in our safe space. So we're gonna start out, as always, with our cardio set. And then we're going to be using some handhelds. And this is going to be the second part of the routine, so you can kind of put those to the side for now. But you will also need an exercise band, and that'll be part of our warm up. So we're going to be doing the warm up exercises, the band exercises, and then we have um, a, a series of exercise sets. They're going to be 45 seconds of work, five seconds of rest, and they're going to be repeated. Then we're going to be taking a 30 second pause to hydrate and then we're going to start another exercise set after that so lots of cardio lots of activity you're going to really focus on that moderate intensity remember at next 50 we need to be reaching moderate intensity and that is not an arbitrary thing it is a personal thing so moderate intensity for you means that you should be at a point where you have to stop and take a breath if you were talking your heart should be beating a little bit fast or faster. And then you should be moist or, or definitely sweating or, or warm inside the body. So those three things, shortness of breath, accelerated heart rate, and sweating equals your moderate intensity. So with that said, let's go ahead and start this clock. And we're going to be starting jogging in place with that chair. As always, sit on the edge of your seat. Make sure those hamstrings are free. And we're going to start here. Nice and easy, jogging in place. So as always, my fingertips are lightly touching that rib cage. Those elbows are pushing way back, and I'm very light on my feet. I'm not pounding the floor. I'm not trying to slam into the floor. I'm simply trying to move fluidly, comfortably, and breathing at the same time. It's called a two-two breath. And I'm moving twice, inhaling, breaking up that one inhale breath into two tiny breaths. And then I'm moving twice, do the same thing with the exhale, break it up into two breaths. So you put it all together. Helps develop a nice rhythm for us, keep us moving, and it helps to perfectly oxygenate that body and coordinate that breathing with the movement. And right here, we're gonna go right into a jumping jack, hands on those knees, we're gonna open and close, open and close. Again, I'm only lightly touching the floor, and I am touching the floor. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Sometimes, you know, if we've been exercising for a while, we wanna move at rapid pace, but it's more important, next 50, for you to coordinate that breathing with the movement. Actually, you don't have to be an extra to do that. That's important for everybody who exercises. I do triathlons, do it triathlons, trail running, and I'm always coordinating my breathing with my movement. Doing so helps to assure both my endurance and stamina. Got a little chair skater coming up here. And a quick refresher. So I get this right leg is bent, that left leg is out, my hands are here. I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna come up and switch legs. Up and switch legs. So I'm always coming down on the top of that one bent knee. My hands are over to the left and to the right of that leg. Nice and stable, not coming out of that chair. Steady breathing, inhale deeply, exhale completely. Uh, little brain coordination here. <laughs> Keep that chest up. Always looking over and forward, not down. All right, so for a warm up, we're gonna repeat, go right back to the top where we started from, which means that Right after this, we're gonna go right back into our jab again. 
And the routine is going to be like this since we are repeating the routine. So we're also repeating the cardio. So it's going to give us a nice muscle memory. It's going to give us a sense of familiarity with the movements. So it may be a little bit, you know, awkward and unfamiliar on the first round, but by the time you get to the second round, you've been there already, you know what you're doing. So you're able to move more efficiently. And again, strive for that moderate intensity. Be sure you get that big range of motion. Always touch your rib cage. Don't be shy about touching that rib cage. Push those elbows way back. Get those shoulders in motion. Go 10 seconds to that jack. And three, and two, and jack right here. Open and close. Open and close. Open and close. Once again, having that familiarity in our workout routine allows for fluidity of motion. It allows for that nice common ground. So you have that confidence. You know what you're doing. You know what your technique is. And you should know what your breathing is. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. About 15 more seconds, and we'll go right into that skater. Here's that skater. So my left leg is up, that right leg is bent, and I'm front, and I'm up, down, and switch, down, and switch. Keep it slow. Always looking forward. Don't be looking down. Again, always try to stay on the top of that one bit knee. <laughs> So in about 15 seconds, we're going to switch to part two of our warm-up. We're going to go into a nice jumping squat. So those legs will be wide. No stopping. Last one right here. Both legs are wide. Hands in the middle. Inhale. Jump. Inhale. So again, this is part two of the warm-up. We're going to be doing this. And two more exercises that we're going to repeat. So we will be coming right back to this jumping squat. Technique and breathing. Focus on keeping that chest up. There's no reason to be leaning way far forward here. I'm still sitting up tall. I'm simply dropping my arms. In that full range of motion on their shoulders. All right, so in 15 seconds, we have a one sided oblique, one side only. So it's only going to be, you know, like my right knee to my left elbow. That's it. I'm going to do one side. Here it is, right here. Wide legs, elbows up. Big inhale, one side only. Exhale, inhale, exhale. I'm only moving my right leg to my left elbow. That's it. Only one side. Oh, there's a big diaphragmatic breath. Exhale, abdominal bracing, squeeze. Inhale, exhale. Oh, oh, big breath. Oh, 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 oh. Elbows up. Always keep those elbows up there, shoulder level. Cross that knee over. Consider body weight exercises. You know, those legs are heavy. I don't care who you are. <sighs> That's a substantial part of your body weight is that leg and that hip. So here I'm having to lift it up across my body and push it back again. It's a lot of work right there, other side. Don't even skip a beat. Keep going, going, other side. Left knee, right elbow. <gasps> oh. 
<laughs> Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. <laughs> Elbows up. <laughs> high knee, high knee, bring it up. <laughs> Big breathing, guys. We have 15 seconds. We're gonna go right back into that jumping squat again. So it's gonna be the second part of our last part of the warm up. So we are still warming up. Right there, jump and squat. Who? Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. <gasps> jump. Get those knees up as high as you can. You can get a little bit of hang time. A little pause. A little pause. <gasps> Big breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. <gasps> Down and up. <sighs> All right, we're about 10 seconds away from that one-sided oblique, so think about what you're doing. Those legs are going to be wide. Those elbows are going to be up at shoulder level. And we're going to one side only, one side only, right here. Right to left, boom. One side only. Right to left, right to left. Elbows up. Really squeeze your abs here. Just don't move that leg randomly. Inhale, exhale, squeeze that navel, push it back into your spine. It's kind of like you're making a tight fist with your belly. You really want to work and engage those abdominal muscles, and the only way to do that is to squeeze. Exhale, squeeze. We're about 15 seconds out to a switch. Now I'm going to stop. Not going to cogitate. Just going to keep on keeping on on the other side. Right here, other side. Boom. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Come on, cardio. Once again, let's get that body warmed up. So when we start this routine, the body is ready. Stay with me here. Once again, moderate intensity, moderate intensity. It's going to be challenging to speak. The heart should be racing a little bit. Definitely elevated. Oh, should get hot or moist. Oh, keep moving. Almost there, guys. You got about 10 seconds. I'm going to stop. I'm going to get the band. Last one. Oh, woo. Whoa, right there. No drinking. There's no reason for you to be taking a drink right here. We are still in our warm up phase. We're going to grab that exercise band. So you're going to wear that as a bracelet. Reach over there and grab onto that edge. There's no reason to grab onto the band. It's a loose hold. It's always jiggly. So sitting up nice and tall, shoulders relaxed. Open up full extension. Take it up. Take it over. Drop it completely back down. So active, ooh, big stretch, passive, relax. Active, passive, active, passive. Do not keep those arms out, always rest in that. Nice big inhale, oh, nice big inhale. Oh, remember if you have shoulder issues, first keep moving. If you have shoulder issues, just lift up the band as high as you can. And then squeeze your shoulder blades and then relax back down with that passive. So always lift as high as you can. 
squeeze your shoulder blades in the back, and then relax back down. If you can go back behind you, continue to go back behind you. Try to keep those arms straight, no bent elbows. Use it or lose it, next 50. One more. Five. All right. So I'm going to take my left hand out to the side. So I'll take this right hand. I'm going to reach across my body to that left hand, and I'm going to grab that band and pull it across just to the left shoulder. That right now goes up in the air, and I'm going to turn and look over to my left, and I'm going to keep turning. I'm not going to be looking around. This is my inhale position. I'm going to exhale, pull this across to my right shoulder. Inhale, relax. Exhale, pull. Keep turning and looking over to the left. Inhale, relax. Exhale, pull. That pulling elbow stays up at shoulder level. Big inhale. Pull. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, relax. Shake out those shoulders. On the right side, are there full extension? Take that right hand out. This left hand reaches over, pulls it back to the right shoulder. Elbows up. Look to your right. Do not be looking around. Keep your eyes in that direction. Big inhale. Exhale, pull to the left shoulder. Inhale, relax. Pull. Inhale, relax. Exhale, pull. Oh. Exhale, pull. Hold that exhale. Don't be so quick to release that hold. And don't snap it back either. That is a slow release back. Oh. Oh. Inhale. Oh. Keep turning and looking. Last one. Inhale. Oh. Exhale. And relax. Woo-hoo. We're going to put that band down. Take a drink, hydrate, do not guzzle. There's no reason for you to be guzzling liquids here. Just wet your whistle a little bit, wet the throat, you're good to go. I'm gonna switch clocks and then go right into that routine. So once more, we're gonna be doing 45 seconds of work with a five second pause. And we're gonna be repeating four exercises two times. So we're moving about seven and a half to eight minutes. We're moving quite some time here. So. Pay attention, take your time, or speed it up. Always stay in your comfort zone. So we're gonna start out first with some jumping jacks, jumping jacks, and then we're gonna chair burpees, and then some nice knee drops, one, then the other, and then we're gonna repeat that entire step. No weights for starters, the weights come later. So here's our beginning, starting a jack position, knees are together, we're gonna start that clock, and there's the tone, three, two, one, 45 seconds of jacks. We got this. Inhale, exhale, inhale, ex. Once again, remember all these exercises here in our workout set will be repeated. So this is the first time you're gonna be doing the jacks and you will have a second time to be doing those jacks. When we do repeater sets like this, you know, you have an opportunity to kind of go slow or take your time on that first set. When you get to that second set, you can really up your game. You can go a little bit faster. You can work a little bit harder. It's always on you. Hey, we're hanging out in our pajamas, so I want you to be comfortable. Woo, right there, chair burpee. Looks just like a jack, except there's a jump in there. So we're going to open, jump, and close. Open, jump, and close. Open, jump, and close. So I kind of jumped and then opened all at the same time there. Close, open, jump. Close, open, jump. Close, open, jump. So we got that Muay Thai drop kick or front kick. So we're going to be bringing those knees together. And we're going to be dropping that right knee lower than the left knee. 
is it is a front kick position right there. So my right leg's going back and that knee is below the left. Those hands on the upright. Big inhale, knee to chest. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Every time I drop that knee, this is a drop knee, I want that knee lower than the other knee. Beautiful hip extension there, really working that upper hip and that lower back. Again, that beautiful range of motion. Oh. Sit up tall as you bring that knee into the chest. So you can reach up there and touch that foot. Oh. Oh. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Oh. 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 Big breath, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, switch sides. So drop that other knee down, take a big breath. Keep those hands up. Here we go. So as a reminder, we're repeating this entire four exercises. This is the fourth one. So as soon as we get finished with these, we get that little five second pause and we'll go right back into that jack again. Now, if we repeat this an entire second time, then we're going to take our hydration break. So stay with me, stay focused, stay in the game. Right there, here comes that second set. Woo! Big breath. Jacks in three, two. One, inhale, oh, exhale. So what I was saying was, you know, we've already been here, kind of warmed up now. So if you want to speed it up a little bit, go for it. You might feel, you know, you're definitely a lot warmer. You've already worked all those hips and shoulders, so all that synovial fluid is lubricating those next 50 joints. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. In about eight seconds, we got that little jack burpee coming up. So it looks just like this jack, except that I got those knee jumps in there. Woo -hoo, bring it all back in, deep breath. Once again, here's that burpee. Open, jump, and close. Open, jump, and close. Again, you know, I feel like speeding it up a little bit. Or I can just keep it that nice close, open, jump, close, open, jump. Speed's really not the issue. Again, it's always technique and breathing. Always technique and breathing. Got 10 seconds to those knee drops. Uh, 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 last jump. Woo! Knees together. Drop that one knee lower than the other. Get those hands up. Uh, nice big inhale position. And here we go. Exhale. Uh, 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 uh. Big breath. All right, here comes the other side. Come in and come on, here it comes. And three, and two. And one, whoo, switch other side. Deep breath, and here it is. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. 
I guess. So we're like 30 seconds away from our first break. And that's gonna be a 30 second break, so stay with me. You got this next 50. You're watching these videos if you've probably been in my class, or maybe you're new to the class. But you're stronger than you think you are. 10 seconds, almost there guys, come on. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And last one, boom, Woo. Shake it out, shake it out. Inhale deeply. Oh, exhale completely. Oh, take a drink. Do not guzzle. Do not guzzle. Just wet your whistle, guys. Just moisten those lips, moisten the throat. That's it. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. Oh, you only got 30 seconds here. It's not a very long time. All right, so we're going to be starting out first with a speed bag. And there will be a 22 second switch. So we're moving in one direction for the speed bag and then moving in the opposite direction for that speed bag. You guys ready? Here it is. And the towel. And so we are jogging in place, of course. One on top of the other, hands are up. Here we go. So with speed bags, I'm always looking slightly up. So it means my chin is not parallel, but slightly tilted. Now, even though it's slightly tilted, I'm even mindful that I'm not putting any undue pressure on this little tiny vertebra in the back of the neck. So if it starts to hurt you, then you know, drop that chin again. All right, the switch is coming. Uh, right there, switch directions. And again, always keep the hands one on top of the other. Don't let them separate. Keep them tight and keep engaged. So the hands are up there at forehead level or above the head level. Keep those legs moving, a little jog. Uh, And right there, we're going to open it up. We have a one side oblique, so those elbows are up. Here we go. Big inhale. Oh, exhale. One side only. We know these. We've warmed up with these. Come on. <sighs> inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Keep those elbows up and shoulder level. Bring that opposite knee to the opposite elbow. <sighs> open that diaphragm. Crunch that belly. Make a tight gut. Squeeze those muscles, guys. Don't just rely upon the exercise alone. You really have to engage your inner muscles. Squeeze. This is why you're exhaling here. Because you're already exhaling, you're already pushing that air out. So the diaphragm is collapsing, and it's easier for you mm, to squeeze that gut. <gasps> Other side's coming up here, almost. <sighs> Woo, take a breath. <sighs> Hands up, here we go. Oh, exhale, inhale, exhale, and so we've switched elbows, we've switched knees, other side. Be sure to keep your legs wide. Sometimes we have a tendency to bring those legs closer and closer together. Don't do that next 50. Keep them wide, these are Body weight exercises, that means I have to lift up my leg. Your legs are pretty heavy. They're a substantial part of your overall body weight. So having to pull it and push it, pull it up, push it back. So we got ski jumps in seven seconds. Woo, right there. Legs together, feet on one side, hands on the other, those elbows are up. Sit up tall, big breaths, here we go. We're again alternating here, left and right. So the feet are on one side, those hands are on the other. I'm sitting up tall, right smack in the middle. And here we just keep a regular two-two breathing. And this is why I'm sitting up tall, so it really helps you to breathe deep. So in 15 seconds, we're gonna go right back into that speed bag. Again, we're repeating this entire set. So you're gonna be in familiar ground. We already know the speed bags, we already did them. So the body's ready, the body's warmed up. The body's got muscle memory. And right there, woo, speed bags, yay. I'm jogging in place, those hands are one on top of the other. That chin is slightly elevated if it doesn't bother my neck. 
And I'm just breathing deep and slow. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. We're going to 22 seconds split coming up here. Right there, switch directions. Deep slow breaths. Keep those feet moving. Always like, was it patting your head and rubbing your belly? <sighs> Woo, right there, open it up. We got one side of legs. We've been here before. Here we go. Big inhale. <sighs> inhale. <gasps> Exhale. <gasps> and back off from your ground. <sighs> Know what you're doing, knowing what you're doing gives you such a strong confidence level. I think a lot of times when I'm going to do a trail run, and I've never run that trail, I'll go out there maybe a week in advance, or maybe a couple of days before the race or before the event, and I'll run just to be familiar. Don't have any surprises on the day of the race. So these exercises are very much like that. Woo! Take a breath. Hug inside. Hands up. So again, we know what we're doing. We've been here. So we know it's expected of us. And that tells us a lot about ourselves. You know, are you dreading it? You're looking forward to it. <laughs> are you kind of like neutral? I'm kind of like neutral to looking forward to it. I want to get it done. I want to do it correctly. I want to be mindful of my body position. I want to be mindful of my breathing. I want to make every rep count. That's Merck, M-E-R-C. Make every rep count. So I don't want to be lazy. I don't want to get finished with my routine. And feel like, eh, I didn't work out as hard as I could have. Feet on one side, hands on the other. Take a breath. Here we go. And switch. Opposite feet, opposite hands. Again, when I get finished with my workout routine, I want to feel like I worked out. I don't want to, you know, go throughout the day and thinking, you know, well, you know, I kind of cheated and I was slacking off. And, you know, kind of, that's negative and, and kind of reprimanding myself. And I want to speak positive. I want to get rid of negative speak. I want to use positive speak. So, work out to the best of my ability. Put in an honest effort. And I feel good about myself. Because remember, it's all about mind, body, and spirit. We are holistic beings. And there we go. Break. Take a drink, take a sip. See, you talked yourself all the way through to a nice, comfortable 30 second pause. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. Again, take a sip. We're picking up the weights. So bringing those legs in, it's always about one dumbbell apart, or same thing as two fist distance. We're gonna be doing a lateral, so my palms are facing, so lateral is no higher than shoulder. Then a front, no higher than shoulder. And when I come down from that front, we'll turn those palms forward, elbows in the waistline, I'm gonna do a bicep curl. And we're gonna be doing that for 45 seconds. And once again, we're gonna be repeating that. So this is our weightlifting section. You guys ready? So sit up nice and tall, weights down, palms forward. Here's the towel. Let's go. Ah, uh, oh, palms are facing. So laterals, palms are down. Turn the palms, bicep. Palms are down for laterals. Palms are down for front. Bring it down, turn the palms forward, bicep. Lateral, forward, bicep. Lateral, forward, bicep. I gotta pay attention, I gotta turn that wrist. And here I just wanna breathe deep and slow. Inhale deeply, exhale completely.
<sighs> Last one. All right, we have alternate punches. Get those hands up in a nice comfortable position. I want you to punch right hand across to the left knee, no higher than shoulders. Bring it back. Left hand across to the right knee. I'm not punching, don't punch across your body. Keep it tight. In, out, in, and out. That's it, right there. Keep those elbows tight. The weights are down and in a comfortable position. And again, I'm only pushing over the top of that knee, not crossing over. That way I can sit up tall. And don't even pop big. Don't pop your joints next 50. When I'm coming out here for that stretch, my elbow's gonna slide into it a little bit. I'm never locking out that elbow. That's how you get tendonitis. Woo! Right there, ladders. Palms are facing, arms are down again. It's gonna be an opposite arm, opposite high knee. I'm climbing the ladder. Here we go. So this is my right leg is up and my left arm is up. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. <sighs> Elbows tight. Remember, you're always working in a very tight space. It's like there's a wall immediately outside of my hips, and I can't go past that wall to the left or to the right. Woo, right here, thruster. So I got that distance in my feet. Ooh, hands are right here. I'm gonna go down, hammer curl, and then push overhead right here. Down, hammer, push. Down, hammer, push. Look how tight those elbows are. Woo, try to put that chest on top of those legs. Try to touch those weights or those hands all the way to the floor. Push, down. Hammer, push, down, hammer, push. And as always, I'm lifting my chest and my chin and I'm looking forward. Don't look down, look ahead. All right, we're nearing the end here of the first part of this set. That means we're getting ready to go right back to those lateral front raises and bicep curls right there. Palms are down, palms are facing. Big breath. Here we go. Lateral. Front. Turn those hands. Bicep. Lateral. Front. Turn those hands. Bicep. That's very important when we're doing weight lifting that we're not doing weight swinging. So I'm not swinging my body. I'm sitting up very tall, very controlled. Nor am I allowing the weight to kind of like swing and flop around all over the place. It's up, it's down, it's up, it's down, it's up, it's down. Lateral, front, bicep, lateral, front, last bicep, boom. Woo, here come those punches, rest those arms, palms are facing. Got that distance in my knees. <sighs> Once again, forward and back, forward and back, cross over the body, but do not cross way over. Once again, my left hand's over the top of my right knee, my right over the top of the left. Inhale, exhale, inhale, ex. And I'm keeping those hands up there at shoulder level. That nice rest right there. Inhale, exhale, inhale, ex. Again, do not pop that elbow. You're not hitting anybody. You're not hitting a punching bag. Check your joints next 50. Here comes that ladder. Uh, so we get to stay in that same arm position. Those palms are facing right here. Woo. Opposite knee, opposite arm push. Here we go. Up and push, up and push. Inhale, exhale, inhale, ex. It's another reason we just don't go willy-nilly, both sides, you know, because we lose our breath. Breathing is the second most important thing that you're doing. Technique is the most important, because that's what keeps our bones and our joints and our muscles strong and injury-free. We do not want to hurt ourselves. 
So a technique is all about doing it correctly, so I do not create injury in the body. So that breathing helps establish a beautiful rhythm, plus keeping me totally oxygenated, building endurance and stamina. Here comes that thruster. Woo! So once again, those feet are open, those knees are wide, hands are here, we're going down, hammer and push up. Inhale, down, hammer and push. Woo! Down, hammer and push. Remember when we're pushing, we always try to get that arm and ear side by side, not here in front. Keep it up, but straighten out those elbows. Down, hammer, push. Down, hammer, and push. And this is gonna be break time after this, guys. So this is our third set. Got a 30 second break coming up. A little hydration sip. And then we're gonna do our last and final set. Yeah, babe, it's not over yet. Down, hammer, and push. Down, hammer, and push. Here it is. Oh. Woo -hoo. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. You got 30 seconds on the clock. When you whistle, do not guzzle. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Slow that heart rate down a little bit. Once again, we're trying to hit for that moderate intensity. So check yourself, you know. Are you a little bit short of breath? Yay. Is your heart racing? Yay. Are you moist or sweating? Yay. That's your moderate intensity, guys. All right, last set coming up here. We're going to start out with a sumo, which is a nice wide-legged position. Those weights, those heads are touching. Weights are down. We're going to be going all the way down to the earth, coming up to the collarbone. You have the position on those weights, and those elbows are wrapped up around the side of my head. It's going to be the last set, guys. You've made it this far. You can finish this. So let's do this. Let's get it done. Big inhale. Here's the clock. Weights are down. Big inhale. And up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now my back is very flat here. I'm always pulling that chest and chin forward. So I'm kind of like a hinge on a door. I'm just dropping forward, pulling up, dropping forward, sitting straight up, not leaning back, don't need to lean back, I just need to sit up. <sighs> inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So about 15 seconds, we're going to go right back to that skater again, and it will be with weights. All right, right here. So that right leg is in, that left leg is out, those hands are here. Going we'll down, up, and switching sides. So here we go. Down, up, and switch. Down, up, and switch. So that down is always on the left and the right of that leg. When I sit up, I switch that leg position. So one leg is always bent, one leg is always out to the side. That chest is in an upright position. Again, this is just the first set. We're gonna come back to this exercise. Oh, keep those elbows tight. Woo. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. I'm going to finish strong with these weights. Moderate intensity. Woo, right there, wide legs, kettlebell swing. Both weights are one, both is better, guys. Going to inhale back, exhale up. Here it is, inhale, exhale. Try to get those arms in here side by side, but notice that my elbows are soft but I've got that full range of our shoulders. If you have shoulder issues, do the heart level. Heart, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Of course, as always, you can always mix it up. Go high and go low. If you can go high, continue to go high. Use it or lose it, guys. Get that big range of motion. Work those chest muscles, work those shoulder muscles. All right, we got a jumping squat. Woo, right there. So everything's a lot softer here. Inhale, exhale, jump. Inhale, I'm still sitting up straight, so I'm not leaning forward like on the kettlebell. 
And notice when those weights come on the top of the head, those knees are bent, everything's soft, elbows are soft, just barely coming over the top of my head. Just don't bonk yourself in the head. Pay attention where those weights are at. And trust me, I'm speaking from experience. I have hit myself in the head more than a few times. It happens. No shame in your game. I go right back into that sumo. Right here, wide legs. Turn those weights again, heads are touching. Big breath. This is it, guys, last round. Here we go, down, inhale. Up, inhale, exhale. Keep those weights below your chin at the collarbone. They should be right there, lightly touching your body. Keep those elbows jacked up. Really work that tricep, that jiggly underarm. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Big breaths. So we got about eight seconds. We'll come right back to that weighted skater again. So that right leg is forward, that left leg is out to the side. Those hands are in that rest of position. It's gonna be that down, up, and switch that leg position. Here we go, inhale. Down, up, and switch. Down, up, and switch. You're always going over the top of that leg. That one bent leg, it's like you're trying to put your chest on top of that thigh. Hands are to the left or to the right, giving you safety and security. So when we come out of that chair, ah, ah, big breaths. Ah, Ten seconds to that kettlebell swing. Keep that chest up. Keep looking forward when you go down. Ah, woo! Right there, kettlebell swing. Open up those legs. Then we're gonna go back and lift it up. Big breath. Here, inhale, <gasps> inhale, <gasps> of course I can always shoulder low, don't forget your comfort zone. <sighs> Remember, this is a straight up, no bent elbow here, really try to straighten up those arms, that jumping squat has the bent elbow, not the kettlebell, two different exercises, <sighs> know the difference, really work on that shoulder, elbow, Ribcage extension. Uh, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Uh, here it is. Woo! All right, that jump and squat. Here comes the easy version, except those legs are in there. <laughs> Big breath. Woo! Here we go. Inhale, exhale. So here's that easy overhead lift. And again, if I have shoulder issues, I can keep it right there at shoulder level. Do a little tight hammer curls. So I got that knee thrown in there. So I gotta, gotta get that up, really working my core. And these are excellent for balance. We got 12 seconds. Woo! And we can take a small hydration break and go right into recovery. Almost there. Oh, right there, guys. Woo! Put those weights down. Sit up tall. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Catch your breath. You always want to catch your breath before you take a drink. If you're sucking wind, and you try to take a drink, you can gulp and have it go down the wrong pipe. So take a couple of deep breaths first. And then when that breath is settled down a little bit, the heart is slowed down a little bit, then take a nice little sip. Again, we're not done yet. We've got our nice recovery coming up. So inhaling deeply, exhaling completely. All right. 
Alright, let's get those legs nice and open. Let's finish out with a windmill. Really good for that upper body, that root cage. We did a lot of that today. So I'm going to keep my hands together, and my hands are going to be straight up overhead. This is important because my hands are straight up. I'm going to inhale, pull my spine, and really stretch. I can come out of this chair. And then exhale, my left hand's going to come down the inside of this left leg, and that right hand is still straight up. And as I drop down as low as I can, I'm going to be looking up there at my top right hand. The head is turning. Big inhale, pull, stretch. Exhale, that right hand comes down inside of the leg, turn and look at that hand. Do not airplane, do not push that hand backwards. Keep it straight up, right above you. Inhale, pull. Exhale, look up, look up. Use those neck muscles, those driving muscles. Inhale, pull. Uh, pull. Uh, let's bring this all the way back up. Let's bring the legs in just a little bit, a little tiny swing. Look back behind you. So inhale, pull that hand forward, pull it up, your cage. Turn, 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 turn. Woo. Other side, inhale, lift. Pull, pull, pull. Exhale, look. Inhale, pull. Turn and lower. Inhale, pull. Turn and lower. Inhale, pull. Turn and lower. Last one. Inhale, pull. Turn and lower. And a big pull in the middle. Little side. Inhale, pull. Woohoo! De stress. Inhale. Inhale. Oh. Last big side. Oh. Woo! That was challenging. And to me, that's code for fun. Yay. So if I'm really working hard, if I'm a little short of breath, if I'm moist, woo, if that heart's racing, I'm in my happy place. And you should be too. Again. At next 50, we should be hitting moderate intensity, guys, moderate intensity. Thank you so much for joining me. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay whole next 50.